Hello, social media. I am Steve Ludwig, uh, also known as Mr. Insurance. Uh, question today is why do so many people that own RVs have their plates in South Dakota and Montana? Um, so if you're curious about RV license plate, if you're observant, you may have noticed a particularly large amount of numbers of RVers with Montana and South Dakota license plates. However, if you were to talk to any of these people in those vehicles, you quickly learn that the vast majority of them rarely step foot in those states. Why then do so many register their RVs in another state? And why these two states specifically? In short, the answer is to save money. RV registration fees by state vary and so do RV taxes. So Montana registration charges no sales tax. Montana RV registrations are also relatively small, making registering your vehicle in Montana a tempting option, especially for large ticket items like motorhomes or top of the line fifth wheel trailers. So how are you allowed to register your RV in Montana if you don't live there? Well, many RVers buyers make this work by establishing an LLC in Montana and registering their RV as a business vehicle. Most people go through a law office in order to do this. Uh, you can also use, uh, my recommendation is to go to dirtlegal.com. With all tax issues, it's crucial that RV owners find good legal counsel to help them to make the right decision. Again, that's the reason why I recommend going to dirtlegal.com. Uh, they're pretty well versed in that. Like in Montana, though, maybe RVers choose South Dakota RV registrations for tax reasons. However, there's a few differences to really consider. For starters, South Dakota charges a 4% tax. Uh, that's for the sales tax. And that said, this RV tax is still much lower than in most states. Now, if you have paid RV tax or paid sales tax in another state, they will actually grandfather you in and then if it's anything over 4% that you have paid, uh, they will credit you. The RV registration fee is also very reasonable. Um, while the cost to register an RV in South Dakota might come out to be a little bit more expensive than in Montana, there are a few things that draw people to South Dakota. For instance, they have no income tax. They have very low sales tax, again, that 4%. And due to a number of mail forwarding services, that's the big one. It's easy to establish residency in South Dakota. Therefore, many full-time RVers choose to register their RV in South Dakota. So when it comes to the next best state to register your RV in, many choose these two, which is why there are so many Montana and South Dakota license plates out there. Now, the next time you see one drive by, you'll have a bit of trivia information to share with your family. If you have any questions, please go ahead and comment below. I will try and answer those back as quickly as I possibly can. Till next time, guys, take care.